nine-hour ordeal of terror in El Paso as a Continental Airlines jet is hijacked by a father and his son. Government agents machine gun the plane's tires to prevent it taking off after it landed for fuel at El Paso after being seized over Phoenix. When the attention of the hijackers was diverted, the two hostesses slipped from the rear door, leaving eight other hostages aboard. These were freed when officers slipped aboard and overpowered the two men. The two men, Leon Bearden and his son Cody, are led from the plane to be arraigned on various charges and held in a $100,000 bail each. The hijacking is linked to Castro in view of the father's visit to the Cuban embassy in Mexico last month. Now the U.S. has authorized airline crews to carry arms and offers substantial cash awards for tip-offs on future hijackings. flight to freedom from east to west Berlin is becoming a battle of wits between red authorities and those who seek refuge in the west. The government of East Berlin has issued special identity cards to those East Germans who work in the west, thus forcing them to sacrifice their well-paying jobs. Instead of hampering the flow of refugees to the west, however, it has increased the number of those seeking asylum, for they fear each passing day will make it harder to get across the border. Allied authorities in West Berlin have lodged an official protest with East Germany on border restrictions, calling it a violation of a 1949 agreement. Typewriter carriages are going the way of the one-horse Shea if this new electric machine proves its worth. Not only is the movable carriage gone, but movable type bars as well for a revolving drum that travels across the paper takes its place. Shed a tier two, if you will, for the ink ribbon, replaced by a cartridge. The type fonts, there are six available, are quickly changed. Faster than you can type, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The tear-shaped element containing all of the conventional characters whirls across the page. Now, if they'd only come up with a typewriter, that could spell. 